Actually, I want to ask both of you guys this, if you remember. Mm -hmm. How did it feel to get on test? If, if Like, what changed? If I'll anything. let Andrew start on mm -hmm. that. Yeah, um, I remember getting my labs done years ago before any of this. And I remember actually I was talking to Marcus Filipino Thunder about it. And I was like, hey, my test is at like th like 350 or whatever. And he's like, well, you know, it, it's low range for sure, but like you're not like totally tanked. And we were just talking about testosterone. And this is why I used this verbiage when we were talking about it. But he was like, don't you want to feel like more of a man? And I was like, well, well, yeah, but like I don't even know what the fuck that means, you know? So when I initially started taking TRT, mm -hmm. um, I started with a traditional dose that a lot of people get recommended, which is 200 milligrams per week. That's kind of almost like base, and then you adjust from there. Yeah. Um, it was weird because I never thought that I had like a low libido, but holy shit, when I got on that, I felt like <laughs> the hunger was through the roof for sex. Like, mm -hmm. and I told my wife about it. I'm like, hey, I'm hearing that. Like, I need to let you know that I might just really be more in need. You might start getting a little sore. Yeah, yeah. and um, Especially so, hogging around what you are. <laughs> you guys are funny. But... <laughs> you know it's true. I Yeah, dude, I... I That's why his back's always... Fine. Exactly. Just, like, lugging that <laughs> fucking thing. <laughs> dude, I'm telling you, we're going to be on a road trip, and you guys are going to be like, oh. <laughs> Neither one of you guys could ever disappoint me with anything, just so you know. I love both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Love right, you too, now, Mark. <laughs> I feel more more confident then. Um, but no, okay. So I, uh, I was kind of going on a tangent about the sex thing, but no, I did feel more like a man. Okay. Um, uh, as Mark knows, like when I first met him, I was extremely timid. You know, I was hiding behind the camera all at all times. Mm -hmm. If I had to speak up, it was like a very hard, difficult thing to do. Like it was like nerve wracking. Like God, like I have to tell Mark that that shot didn't work out. We got to do it again or something. Like it would be a thing that was constantly running through my mind yeah. that I just would have to eventually work out and then hanging out with Mark so much that I started to break out of my shell. So it was already happening. So you could say that this is like, oh, this is just a period of time where I'm like developing better people skills or whatever it may be. But as soon as I got on test, like, I was more assertive. Um, I was more aggressive for the things that I wanted. So like if I needed a shot or something, I would just call for it. I would just yell for it. I wouldn't be like, hey, guys, is it cool if we do X, Y, and Z? Just like, we need to do this. Let's go. Um, oh, so, yeah, I remember we do photo shoots and stuff, and you would just place people in certain spots and say, hey, you know, mm -hmm. be here and do this and turn this way. Yeah. Hey, talent, get in line. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I think a lot of times maybe people don't realize that like you, uh, a lot of people need someone to kind of lead because otherwise you're like, I'm not really like, we don't have, uh, models that are like professional. We've got people that are just, that look good from mm -hmm. the gym and mm -hmm. you've got to kind of pose them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that's always the, the, the most difficult thing is like, especially somebody who has no experience, who doesn't understand, like shift this way, shift that way. They're just like, mm -hmm. do you mean like this? I'm like not even close. <laughs> it's going to be like this. Um, so that, that was definitely it. And then, you know, I, I'm doing jujitsu now. I'm, I'm, I'm lifting on a regular basis. These things are very difficult at times, right? I now am like super more pumped to do those things because it makes me feel good. I don't know for sure if I'd be able to do that without tests is just because saying like the whole, um, you know, uh, you're more motivated to do difficult things. Yeah. yeah Not yeah. that I wasn't doing difficult things before, but I wasn't doing jujitsu. That's for damn sure. Mm. Um, and there was always the, uh, the conversation in my head, like, ah, like, do I really have to go to the gym today? You know, like I still would have that, that, that time of like from waking up to getting out of the door. Mm -hmm. It was like, Hmm. Like, so I, I still did it. Right. So how long has it been now, by the way? Uh, like how many years? Like, it's, I think it would be safe to say two years. Two or, years. Or no, 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 wait, no, no, no. Sorry, I'm trying to think when my son was born. So a little bit less than two years that I've been on stuff. Okay. Um, and uh, before that, you know, I did SARM, so I was on like the pellets of testosterone for a little bit, <clears throat> which was like the first experience. But I, the injectables are way better in my opinion. Um, I, I felt them way more. Uh, okay. Despite the the pellets being like a high dose, like a, a high ride all the way through, I think uh, doing injectables is a little bit better. Um, I, I just like I said, I I felt it way better. Um, and, and so for me, the the muscle development and that sort of thing, the strength gains are great. <laughs> but the uh, the recovery, the uh, like I said, the mental, like the confidence side of things, and like the drive. Mm -hmm. In in all aspects, right? Sex drive, drive to do hard things, drive to go after what you want, drive to be more assertive. 
that's been like huge. Like literally like more of a man is kind of what it feels like every time I inject. Mm. And it could be a mental thing. It could be a maturity thing. It could be a time thing, right? Where it's like, oh, I've been doing hard things for a long time now. Maybe I'm just getting better at it. But man, I, I seriously felt that dial get turned up quite a bit once I started injecting. I didn't feel it not, not so much with the pellets. I did feel the sex drive boost with the pellets, but everything else was kind of more mellow versus injecting where now it's like, oh shit, like I just, everything feels good. The impact for me is just, you know, it's my own individual story. It's my own individual experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I was already way into lifting. I've already been lifting for a long time. I started lifting around 11, 12 years old. Um, probably got kind of serious about lifting at like 14, 15, which is really early. Uh, it wasn't until I was about 25 when I started to take uh, testosterone. I was already pretty big. I was already built decently, um, 210 pounds or so. Um, whenever I'd try to lean out, I would get a little skinnier than I'd like. This is when I was natural. And I would be like 200 and it just didn't look right to me. And then I'd try to like bulk up and then I would be like 220 and it just looked too fat to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I couldn't, uh, I kind of had the the problem, that, which a lot of people have now is um, they won't really commit to the bulk because they're too uncomfortable being a little chubby for a little while. And they won't commit to the cut because they're, they just get weaker sometimes. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that was that with that stuff. But when I took testosterone, it had a really profound impact immediately because I was already training. I was already training hard. Um, I was already into powerlifting. I was already fairly strong, but it just, it just amplified everything. It just boosted everything up. Um, there really wasn't much of like a, there wasn't really much of like a waiting period. It was like I took stuff and then I was able just to handle more um, pretty quickly. And so that was, that that's what led to the gains happening so quickly. Yeah. Now, one of the first thing, you know, the other thing to keep in mind here is that this was not TRT. This was not HRT. This was um, doing a steroid cycle. This is, you know, this is what I did. Uh, that's why I'm trying to say that my experience is going to be different and it's probably amplified, but I pretty much instantly gained about 30 pounds. <laughs> when you say instantly, you got it. So how long did that shit yeah. take? <laughs> uh, just a couple of months. Just a couple of months. I mean, it was like, uh, at least that's what it felt like. You know, maybe if I was to look back and really know, maybe it was longer. But um, I think I'm just thinking like six, eight months or so. Mm -hmm. And I remember, so I traveled. This is when I lived in Columbus, Ohio. And I traveled to Louisville, Kentucky here and there to wrestle for Ohio Valley Wrestling, uh, which was the uh, kind of startup league for WWE. Yeah. And I remember I took some stuff because I wanted to try to like even the playing field a little bit. Almost a large majority of the people I was around, they were either on shit or they were um, talented in some other way where they could end up making it big in, in pro wrestling. And maybe some of those guys didn't need it, but mm -hmm. I kind of felt like I did. I was like, I don't really stand out enough. I'm not like athletic enough or talented enough necessarily to really shine. I'm okay on the microphone type stuff and things, things like that. But yeah, I was like, I need to, I think I need to be a little bit bigger. I think it'll be helpful. I'm also not six, five. So I was like, I think this is going to help. And then also I've always loved powerlifting. I was training at West side barbell most of the guys there uh, were on steroids too. Yeah, there's a shot right there. And so I went from... Uh, that was right after you hopped on. <clears throat> I went, yes. I went from being like about 210 uh, to about 235, 240 range. Okay. Um, very, very quickly. Now, one thing that happened is you can see in that picture, uh, my face is still kind of lean, but uh, around this time is when my face got really like bloated too, because I didn't really know what I was doing and yeah. I was probably taking too much. <laughs> like I, you know, just what? get advice from the guys at the gym and get advice from the fucking, <laughs> some, oh, some, wow. yeah, some, <laughs> get advice from a thread or whatever, you know, you need 600 milligrams of this and 400 milligrams of that. It's like, it was probably, it was probably way too much. But anyway, yeah, that's some of my experience on the left there. I'm actually... <laughs> I'm actually natural, but, uh, so I had good traps, I had good shoulders. Yep. Yeah. That's, uh, at like 19 or 21 or something like that. Wow. 
Pat Project family, we appreciate you checking out this clip. Check out another one. Just, just, just go check out another one. Or comment down below and let us know what you liked about this one. But we love you guys, and we're going to keep bringing you the heat. So comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, okay? Peace.